Hello, Matalino students. Welcome to our Matalino tutorial. Sa video na ito, pag-aaralan natin kung paano ba mag-multiply ng rational algebraic expressions. Bago natin pag-aralan, Ang multiplying rational algebraic expressions, dapat alam na natin ang mga topics na ito. Una, alam na dapat natin ang iba't ibang factoring techniques. Pangalawa, dapat alam na natin kung paano mag-simplify ng rational algebraic expression. So, mag-review muna tayo. Multiply the following. Number 1, 18 all over 35 times 20 all over 27. Kapag nag-multiply tayo ng fractions, pwede natin gamitan ang cancellation method. Hanap lang tayo ng common factors sa numerator at saka sa denominator. Kung mapapansin natin, yung 18 at saka yung 27 ay merong common factor na 9. Pwede natin i-divide ang 18 by 9. We have 2. And 27 divided by 9, we have 3. Sa 20 at 35 naman, ang common factor nila ay 5. So, i-divide natin yung 20 by 5. Matitira na lang ay 4. Yung 35 divided by 5, ang sagot ay 7. Multitignan natin, wala na tayong common factors sa numerator at sa pasa denominator. So, pwede na natin i-multiply. 2 times 4, you have 8. And 7 times 3, you have 21. And this is the product. Second example, 7 all over 24 times 30 all over 55. The same procedure, we apply cancellation process. Kung mapapansin natin, yung 30 at saka yung 24, sila lang dalawa ang may common factor. At ang common factor nila ay 6. So, 30 divided by 6, ang matitira na lamang ay 5. 24 divided by 6 ay 4. Pwede na natin i-multiply. 7 times 5 is 35. And 4 times 55, that is 220. Paano naman kapag ang ating given ay isa ng rational algebraic expressions? Okay, tignan natin sa ating unang example. 2x all over 5y times 3y squared all over 10. Since ang rational algebraic expressions ay parang mga fractions lang din, pwede natin i-apply ang cancellation method. In this case, yung numerators natin at saka yung denominators Lahat sila ay monomial o one term. Ibig sabihin, pwede na nating gamitan ng cancellation method directly. Kung mapapansin natin, yung 2 at saka yung 10, pwede nating i-cancel out yung common factor nila na 2. So, 2 divided by 2, you have 1. And 10 divided by 2, you have 5. Sa 3y squared at saka yung 5y, ang common factor nila ay y. So, tatanggalin natin yung y sa y squared. Kung matitira na lang ang isang y. At yung y sa ilalim ay pwede natin i-cancel out. Wala na tayong common factors na makikita sa numerator at sa kasa denominator. Pwede na natin i-multiply. 1 times 3 times y, you have 3y. And 5 times 5. That is equal to 25. Therefore, our product is equal to 3y all over 25. For the second example, pareho lang sa ating unang example, lahat ng numerators at saka denominators ay monomial. Pwede tayong mag-cancel out directly. Yung 5 at saka yung 10, common factor nila ay 5. So, 
5 divided by 5 is 1. 10 divided by 5 is 2. At sa variables naman, wala tayong common factor sa numerator at saka sa denominator. Pwede na nating i-multiply yung numerator to numerator at saka denominator to denominator. 1 times a squared times negative 3a that is equal to negative 3a cubed all over 2b times 2b that is equal to 4 b squared. For our third example, x plus 1 all over x minus 2 times x minus 1 all over x plus 3. Yung numerators at saka denominators natin ay hindi na monong yan. So hindi natin pwedeng i-cancel out directly ang mga terms. Lagi natin tandaan na ang kinakancel out lang natin ay ang factors. Hindi tayo nakakancel out ng terms. Ibig sabihin, yung numerator na x plus 1 ay considered na 1 factor. Yung x minus 2, isa ding factor. x minus 1 at saka yung x plus 3. Kung mapapansin natin, wala tayong common factor sa numerator at saka denominator. So, ang gagawin natin, i-multiply na natin yung numerator to numerator at saka denominator to denominator. We have x plus 1 times x minus 1 all over x minus 2 times x plus 3. I-multiply na natin yung factor sa numerator at saka denominator. x plus 1 times x minus 1 is a special product. At ang kanyang product ay difference of 2 squares na x squared minus 1. All over x minus 2 times x plus 3. So pwede natin apply yan ng FOIL method. So you have x minus 2 times x plus 3 x times x, you have x squared, x times positive 3, that is positive 3x, negative 2 times x, that is negative 2x, and negative 2 times positive 3, that is equal to negative 6. Combining similar terms, positive 3x and negative 2x, so that would be equal to positive 1x or plus x minus 6. Our denominator here will be x squared plus x minus 6. And this is our product. Let's now go to our fourth example. y squared minus 9 all over 4y cubed times 2y squared minus 4y all over y squared minus 5y plus 6. If we will notice, Yung numerators natin ay hindi monomial at saka yung isang denominator. So, kailangan muna natin i-express ang mga ito into their factored form. Sa unang numerator, yung y squared minus 9 ay isang special product. It is a difference of 2 squares. Yung factored form niya ay y plus 3 times y minus 3. So, isusulat lang natin. y plus 3. Tsaka yung y minus 3. Sa denominator, kukopyahin lang natin. Sa ikalawang rational expression natin, yung numerator na 2y squared minus 4y meron tayong common monomial factor na 2y. So, factoring out 2y, ang matitira na lang sa ating remaining factor ay y minus 2. So, pwede na natin isulat 2y times y minus 2. Ang denominator naman natin ay y squared minus 5y plus 6, which is a quadratic trinomial. Ang factor niya ay dalawang binomial. 
Ang first term natin ay y squared. So, the first term of our factors should be y and y. Because y times y is y squared. For the second term of our factors, we look at the last term of our trinomial. So, the possible factors for positive 6 are 2 times 3, 1 times 6, negative 2 times negative 3, and negative 1 times negative 6. And looking at our middle term, we have negative 5 as our coefficient. Hanap lang tayo na dalawang factors na kung i-add natin ay negative 5. We have negative 2 and negative 3. Therefore, we now put negative 2 and negative 3 in our factors. Susulat na natin sa taas. y minus 2 times y minus 3. Ang susunod natin gagawin, ikakancel na natin yung common factors in the numerator and in the denominator. So, yung y minus 3, common siya sa ating numerator at sa denominator. Yung y minus 2, yung 2y at saka yung 4y cubed, meron siyang common factor. At ang common factor natin ay 2y. So, i-divide natin ang 2y by 2y. That would leave us 1. And 4y cubed divided by 2y, ang matitira na lang ay 2y squared. After cancellation, yung natira na lang sa ating numerator ay y plus 3. At sa ating denominator ay 2y squared. This is now our product. And for our last example, x squared plus 2x plus 1 all over 4x squared minus 4 times 2x squared minus 2 all over 2x squared plus 3x plus 1. In our first rational expression, our numerator is x squared plus 2x plus 1. Kung mapapansin natin, ito ay isang perfect square trinomial. And in order to factor this perfect square trinomial, kunin lang natin yung square root ng first term at saka yung last term. So we have square root of x squared, we have x. The square root of 1 is 1. Then, the middle term is positive. We put plus sign in between. And don't forget to put square. So, sulat na natin ang kanyang factored form sa taas. x plus 1 squared. For our denominator, 4x squared minus 4. Meron tayong common monomial factor na 4. So, factoring out 4, this would give us x squared minus 1 as the remaining factor. And x squared minus 1 is a difference of 2 squared. So we can factor this out further. So 4, x plus 1 times x minus 1. So kapapiyahin na natin sa taas. 4 times x plus 1 times x minus 1. Let's proceed to x squared. Minus 2. Meron tayong common monomial factor na 2. Factoring out 2 would leave us x squared minus 1 as the remaining factor. And again, x squared minus 1 can still be factored out. So 2 times the difference of 2 squares na x squared minus 1. Ang factored form niya ay x plus 1 times x minus 1. So isusulat na natin ulit. 2 x plus 1 times x minus 1. And lastly, 2x squared plus 3x plus 1. It is a quadratic trinomial. Ang kanyang factor form ay dalawang binomials. Yung first term natin ay 2x squared. So, ang possible factors niya ay 2x at saka yung x. Yung last term natin ay positive 1. So, ang possible factor lamang nito ay 1 times 1 at saka yung negative 1 
times negative 1. Yung middle term natin ay positive 3x. Therefore, kunin natin yung dalawang positive na 1. So, positive 1, positive 1. Kung i-double check natin using FOIL method, malalaman natin na tama na ang ating factor form. So, isusulat na natin sa taas. 2x plus 1 times x plus 1. Pwede na natin i-apply ang cancellation method. Pwede na natin i-cancel out yung dalawang x plus 1 sa taas at saka yung dalawang x plus 1 sa ilalim. Meron pa tayong other factor which is x minus 1 at saka yung 2 at 4 pwede pa natin i-cancel out. So, 2 divided by 2 1, 4 divided by 2 is 2. So, yung matitira na lang sa numerator ay yung x plus 1. At sa denominator, yung matitira na lang ay 2 times 2x plus 1. Or, we can rewrite our final answer as x plus 1. Then, in the denominator, we can multiply 2, the 2x plus 1, by distributive property. 2 times 2x is 4x. And 2 times 1 is equal to 2. This is now our final answer. At yan na po, nakatapos ang ating math tutorial. Sana ay may natutunan kayo ngayon. Salamat po sa pakikinig.